Greg here with Rhinotech up in our Egan, Minnesota distribution point. Um, bringing you a new video on Rhino Color. We put one out a little while ago, but this one is going to be a little bit different, answering a few more questions than uh, that we've received recently. And uh, so, Rhino Color is a heat transfer product for going onto garments. It comes in at 1117 and eight and a half by 11, and 20 different specific colors. I mean, you have your white, your your black, your blues, your reds, metallics, on and on and on, gold, raspberry, copper, neon. So what you can do, depending on your job, um, is you can do a one-off and um, make it simple, make it easy. And why would I ever want to use vinyl when I can do it this way? Why cut? weed, and then transfer. Let's take a look at how it works. <clears throat> we have our colored sheets. I'm going to use a white one today. And so you have a glossy side. It's a polyester carrier. And um, glossy and then a matte surface. So what I've done is we've printed the image in a mirror image utilizing uh, black from our printer. We used a C831TS, but many, many printers will work on the market today. If you happen to have a 711 or a WT, uh, WT or an 8432 WT or a 920 WT, you can use them as well, even though it doesn't have black, because you can take the magenta, make sure you have a high density uh, output of toner, and it'll work exactly the same way. So we have our A sheet, we have a B sheet, and that has a grid on one side and then just a white coating on the other. The white coating we put in contact with the black printed side. Now, I like to fold the corner, corner back because I'm going to be doing a hot peel. It just gives me the ability to grab it a little bit easier. So, again, we have our print. Everywhere there is black on this sheet, the white from here is going to transfer and stick to it which is going to give us the opacity that we require, and it's going to give us the bonding characteristic to the garment, and great for washability. So, I'm going to take this, put it into our heat press, and I have the A sheet on the bottom, and the B sheet on top. Put a little parchment paper down, just so I don't transfer anything onto the bed. And, we press. We're pressing at medium pressure. We're using 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're doing this for 90 seconds. Now, the instructions will say between 275 and 310 for temperature, and it'll say between 90 seconds and two minutes. And that's all variable depending on the type of heat press, the quality of the heat press that you have. So sometimes you have to do a little tweaking, and that's why we offer this in a starter kit. So you get one of every color, you get the B sheets, so you have 20 shots at making the system. Uh, you know, the idea, of course, is that you get two failures, don't do any more, call us, because we can help you walk through the process. Once you have it honed in, you're ready, you're done, it's easy. So, <clears throat> I'm using a uh, Geonite in this particular case. Uh, it happens to be the K20S, which is a 16 by 20 inch bed. Um, has an adjustment up and down for pressure. It's all digital readout. Um, I like to swing away personally because I don't have to get my hands in underneath neath something that's really hot. Um, and it just makes the job a little bit easier. So, what we're going to do is once this is done, we open it up. I take a, an old shirt and I'm going to rub the surface for about five seconds on the paper itself, on the film, the A and the B sheet. That's just in case I had a little bubble or a little separation. I can press it together when it's under that, that much heat, and we'll still get a good print. I'll take this out. And just give it a good rub back and forth. Get it to where I want it. And use this to hold it down because it is hot. And I do pull it back slowly and roll it back over the surface.
and hopefully you can see that the white toner transferred over to the A sheet. And here we are. Now the black is all covered and it has a coating on it of the white transfer off of that B sheet. So we take this and reach over there for the scissors and I like to trim the edge around and the reason being is that sometimes you'll get a little bit of a lay down from the B sheet right on the edge and we don't want to transfer a white line over to the shirt. So I'm not really trimming it for any other reason other than that. There we go. Now, if I take my shirt, we're going to be working at the same temperature, same pressure, um, but we're only going to do it for 30 seconds. So, get my shirt in position. I'm going to press this for about 15 seconds. And what I'm doing is, number one, I'm heating up the shirt. I'm getting the moisture out of it. I'm taking the wrinkles out of it. And that way I know I'm going to get a good bond when we mount this to the surface. Line up your sheet. You can get into measuring if you like. I don't do that. Most of the time I'm on. And we're going to heat press this now for 30 seconds. And again, we're at the same temperature, 300 degrees Fahrenheit, medium pressure. Once I'm done with this, what we do is we're going to take it out, we're going to lay it over on the side, let it cool to the touch. It's going to be about a minute to two minutes. And then we're going to show the peeling of the film, leaving the design behind. So we'll let that just sit here for one or two minutes, then we'll come back, show you a close-up on the peel, and you'll see how we made a shirt in a few minutes. Hold on. Okay, it is cool. So what I'm going to do, and I pulled the camera in for a, a tighter shot, is I'm going to take it up in the corner, and I'm going to just roll it back. And that's it. Everything transferred down onto the surface. Want we now have our shirt. Finish. I want it to look more like screen printing. I'm going to take it, put it back into my heat press. And we're going to give it about a 15 second press. And once we're done with that, it comes out and it'll have more of a matte finish and you have your screen printed look even though it was a heat transfer. And there you are. Rhino Color. Available in a wide range of colors from white, black, blue, green, yellow, neon colors, metallic colors, you want to do a shirt like this, you want to do a one-off, it's $2.85. Very inexpensive. Keep that customer in the door when they only want four or five items. Thank you for watching. You know where to find us. Till the next time.